Hello and welcome to iRacing in VR. Here we are, back at Bel I'm in a Ferrari 488. It's a rolling start, so let's get on with it. Okay, so here we are at Detroit Bell Isle. We are in the Ferrari 488 GT3 Challenge Cup. Go, go, go. Let's go. We're clear on the right. Watch your right side. Clear on the right side. Right side. Right side is clear. You got a car on your right. Still there. Clear on the right. We'll let them come through. This course is lethal with skip barbers. So if you stick over GT3 cars in it, which are almost twice the width. Okay, Matt, it's a decent start. We can build something from here. Jesus. Who's this? Siegfried. Sorry, Siegfried. Get a car on your left. He's still there. Clear left. He's making this a little bit tricky. I'm not sure if he actually knows the track looking at it. Anyway, we're in front of Siegfried, so let's just concentrate on having a clean race. Not crashing into anything. This is a hell of a bumpy track. There's no uh, runoffs, it's wall to wall walls. So, uh, the gap in front has increased. It's now about 5.4. Let's just see if anybody has a bad day. The attacker's got past him. Someone said idiot, that's good. I'm expecting there to be a few wrecks in this 50 minute race. It's going to be about nine laps. Yellow flag, caution. Gap behind has increased to 5.0 seconds. Incident in turn seven. We think it might be Bayer. All right, Matt. The next car is Bayer. Chef, this guy might have damage. The leader has just done a 130.52. Some of these corners just fall away so quickly. Is he going into the pits? No. P10, you've just done a 137.06. You have to watch that left corner. The road dips unexpectedly and if your car is steering into it, you will spin. Fully expecting this guy in front of me to stack it sooner rather than later. Just 
still got a bit of a gap to your attacker behind. But this is a, it's a nice track, but A, it's massively bumpy, and secondly, there's just nowhere to go. And the road surface isn't great. Preston is now leading. It's not really a great, it's not tarmac, it's more concrete. So it's not really designed for tyres to stick to them very well. You've just done a 134.83. Sectors 1 and 2 are 1.7 off the pace. Sector 3 is 1.1 off the pace. Gap to Yutaka's grown. They did voice Gap to Bayer ahead is increasing. It's now 1.8 seconds. Will is having all sorts of trouble. Usually do okay here in the skip barbers. Haven't really raced or anything else. Tend to give it a wide berth. Because the car's not going to grip to the road if you start to slide. And the car's not going to grip to the road if you start to accelerate. So you've got to be quite brave on this track. Sector 2 is 1.9 off the pace. Might be some more places to be made up. ship out on the left, smoking away, can't see at the moment, might have gone. Okay Matt, halfway home, fuel looks good. This track is very bumpy but luckily the Ferrari is very good on bumps. Lucky, and he clicked to the wall there. Your last lap time was at one thirty five point nine two. Yeah, my last lap time nearly wasn't anything, crew chief. It was nearly a tow back to the pits. The gap behind is now six point four. The gap to Bayer in front is now 6.2 seconds. Yeah, I still think he's going to make a mistake. One in front of that 20 seconds. It's just about being smooth. 
The leader has just done a 130.35. Oh, Looks turn. like P6 has gone off in turn 13. Really? You say gone off, crew chief. You can't actually go off anywhere, but he's in the pits. He's in the pits, he won't have a fast repair. So it depends what the extent of his damage is. E9, that was a 136.32. Sector 3 is 2.2 seconds off the pace. Gap behind is growing. That's alright. I just didn't want to slow down there. Eh? Will is still chirping up the front, you know. I wonder what is going on up there and if anyone's going to decide to take the law into their own hands and get a bit of a collision going. So Will's in front. Grant's in second. There's an incident in turn 11. Cool, I just didn't want to slow there at all. Got my foot hard on the brake, but nothing really scrubbing off. Anyone else going into the pits? Ten seconds to Takazuwa. Freed's back in the pits unless he was there last time, but he's shown blue for a couple of laps. That lap time was 135.90. Sectors 1 and 2 are 2.1 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 1.4 seconds off the pace. That's okay, I'm in the top 10. It's not a big issue. The gap to Bayer ahead is now 6.9. These curves, they're not too bad, but they're, they're banked so steeply, they really throw your car up in the air if you decide to try and use them. Henderson is leading the race. It's just such a tight section here. so many sharp lefts and rights, it just throws the car's balance off all over the place. Can't have long left to go though, so... There's an incident in turn one. There's an incident in turn two. Sector two is 1.8 seconds off the pace. Happening to the two guys in front. Not a great deal is the answer. The obeyers had a problem. Can't be many laps than this. It's got to be about 10, I suppose. So we're nearly there. My quickest lap. Mm -hmm. 
Siegfried in front, a lap down. Not sure what he's going to do. White flag. One more lap to go. That lap was at 135.62. So let's have a look around this, what have we got? Takizawa's 10 seconds, Leo's 8 seconds. Thank you. P8. Finished. It's Will one. After all that. Anyway, I'm going to be coming here in eighth, which is fairly respectable for me. Not really massively comfortable on this track in anything other than a skip barber. Still, I haven't had any pranks, I don't think, so. Uh, we almost had that massive one in the first couple of laps. But I think I'm going to come through this with places gained and zero incident points. Which is nice. P9. There we go. It's over. Bring it back round. Let's pull over. We'll have a look at a few of the incidents as well. Let's have a look. So let's get rid of that. Let's get the state of play with no incident points. That's good. Start 12th, finish 9th. Okay. Let's go back to the beginning. So let's have a look at some of the incidents. So we've got a wall there for Robin. Another wall there for Jorn. Two walls for Jorn. Oh, David's got this all wrong. He's going to hit the wall. Oh dear. And that's where David had the big mistake. And Oh man. Okay. I should be coming through this gap in a second. There's me. Whee! Here I go. You're again. He's going to hit a wall, isn't he? Where is he? What's he going to do? Nothing really. He's lost his oh no, it's York again. Another wall, another wall. That's Robin. Another wall. Robin again. He's a bit quick there. Oh my word, it's all gonna go wrong. They've touched. Don't try and go up the inside. Oh my god. They're touching. Oh man, this is terrible. Corey Preston. He's got the place, but he's lost eight instant points for that. Another wall. There it is. Another bump in front.
He looks a bit battered. Someone sort of trying to outbreak him. She's going to turn into him. They're going to hit each other. That's rubbish. Corey. He's got at least 12 instant points out of this. First place, he's had a bump there. Robin again. Oh, I think we're back to the beginning, aren't we? Anyway, so there we go. Um, 12th to 9th, no incident points, fairly respectable, lots of crashes. Um, lovely stuff. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time.